chain waxing isn't as high maintenance as you might think. I'd even say it's downright relaxing. But you're going to help yourself out by getting set up with a dedicated wax crockpot and having multiple chains to rotate between. I'm getting a brand new chain incorporated into my rotation this morning, so I'm going to rinse off that sticky layer of lubricant with mineral spirits and hang it up to dry. Every time I take a used chain off my bike, I measure the amount of stretch beforehand. If it still has life in it, I'll put it on the pile to be re-waxed and used again. If it gets to 0.5% stretch, then it's discarded. I don't use any special wax or additives, it's just candle wax, golf wax, paraffin wax. I let the chain hang out in the pot until no more air bubbles are rising to the top, which can take a couple of minutes. In the meantime, I'll get my other used chains prepped for going in the pot. You can see here that I'm tying a quick link together with the chain so that I don't have to fish those little things out of the bottom of the pot separately. I don't have to clean these chains that have been previously waxed or used. They just stay clean. That's the beautiful thing about chain waxing. They repel water and dirt perfectly. And because I'm not using any liquid lubricants, I can just handle them like this. I keep my wax hot for this whole process, which means some of the wax is going to drip off. I'm not worried about wax dripping off though. All the metal surfaces stay well coated. I guess at this point I'll say that I use a waxed chain for about 10 riding hours. I could probably push it longer than that if I wanted, but I swap it out for a freshly waxed chain at the very first faint sounds of drivetrain noise. Anyway, back to what I'm doing here. Now I'll hang it up to dry next to my other chains. Single speed, seven speed, nine speed, 10 speed. Maybe it looks like I have a problem, but whatever. Everybody gets to choose what they want to fill up their house with. Wait a day before putting a freshly dipped chain back on your bike. You'll have to scrape the excess wax off the connecting ends to get your quick link to fit. The wax will also make the chain rigid, which means you'll have to break it up a bit to get it pliable. That's clean. After shifting through your gears a couple of times, enough of the wax will have been broken up that it'll be flexing smoothly and sounding just lovely. I mean, I don't know about you, but I could just fall asleep to that sound. <laughs> 